Hi, how's it going everyone? My name is Hank and welcome back to the channel. Now, in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can easily do research on a US company stocks absolutely free. Now, this includes valuation analysis, uh, fundamental analysis, share price target by different analysts, and uh, listening to company earnings calls. Now, some of the uh, sites charge a lot of uh, all this type of information, but I have found a way that you can do all of this for free all within one app. Now, if you are someone that's interested in doing a deep dive on a company before doing any purchase, uh, be sure to stick around. The app that I'm going to be using is the Tiger Broker app. Now you might be thinking, whoa, 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 I don't use Tiger as my main broker. I already have a broker. And my friend, that is completely fine. The beauty of this is that you don't need to use Tiger as your main broker to do the research. But I will show you that the app actually has a wealth of information that you could use. However, before you can use their app, you do need to sign up to a free account with Tiger Broker uh, in order to use their app. Now, you can use my referral link in the description below to sign up to them absolutely free and it will also help support this channel. So thank you uh, very much for your support. Now, if we go to the uh, main screen of the app, we can see a list of companies that you can add to your watch list. So if I were just to pick a company, so let's, for example, I'll pick uh, Facebook and we can open up Facebook and we can see the uh, candlestick charts for Facebook in their first screen. Now, the screen that I am interested in uh, doing analysis for Facebook is the analysis tab, which is also the uh, fourth tab on here. So the first uh, screen in the uh, analysis tab is valuation analysis. Valuation analysis basically covers the uh, PE ratio for the uh, particular company over the past year or so, so if we look at the uh, past P ratio for Facebook, it has kind of bounced around up and down over the past year. So at the highest point, it was close to a 36 P ratio. And currently it's dropped down a bit and currently it's sitting at 25 uh, P ratio. So that's the evaluation analysis for uh, Facebook. In the uh, second tab, we can see that there is the fundamental analysis for the Facebook company. So fundamental analysis uh, within the Tiger Broker app is separated into five different categories. So we have profitability, growth capability, operating capability, solvency and cash capability. If we go into the uh, view details for fundamental analysis, it expand each uh, particular category into uh, further more details. So it kind of gives the uh, spider shape chart to see uh, like which uh, area that the company is strong at. So for example, Facebook is very strong in profit profitability and uh, less so in uh, growth capability and solvency. So if we look down below and looking at the uh, profitability bar for Facebook, so Facebook has a pretty high uh, gross margin at around 80%. And it's got a uh, return on assets of uh, 18.5. And it's got a return on equity of more than 30. And it has been uh, maintaining that amount of uh, return on assets and equity uh, over the uh, past year or so. And we can also look at the uh, different tabs that are related to growth, operation, solvency, and cash. So it is expected that uh, Facebook will continue on uh, growing their revenue and also their income. In the uh, solvency tab, we can look at the uh, current ratio for Facebook to see uh, what its current assets are to their current liabilities. So the next uh, graph down here, we have the technical analysis for Facebook. So this is only a very short term technical analysis and it does not represent a, uh, a longer, more general sense of the technical analysis chart. So for the short term trend, it's saying that it's got a uh, volatile declining trend as the short term trend and its long term trend has also has a volatile declining trend. Now, one of the other things that you can look up using this particular app is you can go to the uh, more box uh, uh, close to the bottom 
and you can look up the second tab, which is similar candlestick chart. So here it will pick out the uh, current short term trend of Facebook and it will give you a rough predicted trend for Facebook over the next 15 days. So what it's going to do is it's going to do a uh, rough estimate of what happened to a particular company stock like this uh, and it's going to predict what's going to happen over the uh, next 15 days. So uh, in 60% uh, of the time after 15 days there'll be a move upwards and in 38% uh, of the time there'll be a move downwards after the uh, current candlestick pattern. And it's going to show up uh, the stocks uh, that have a similar candlestick chart pattern and it's going to match it to the uh, current company that you have and it's going to show what's going to happen after the uh, matching candlestick pattern. So in some of these situations the stock kept on going up after uh, this particular candlestick chart pattern and uh, some of them uh, goes down. Now overall it's suggesting that in 60, 1.9% uh, of the time it does go up after 15 days. The next chart that we have here is the short data and this basically tells you the current short interest on this particular stock. So if there is a lot of short interest on the particular stock by people it, it probably means that a lot of people expect the particular stock price to go down. However, that could uh, also uh, backfire uh, with some people like the, uh, what happened with the uh, GameStop saga a couple of months back where a lot of big uh, institutional investors have shorted the GameStop uh, stock and which caused a lot of retail investors to go ahead and buy up the stock. The uh, next tab that we have is the analyst price target. So for the uh, price target for this example, which is Facebook, it has a low target price of $225 and a high target price of $460. And it will also show you the mean uh, target price for Facebook, which is $386. And it will show you the uh, last uh, market price, which is $358. So this means that um, Facebook is slightly undervalued compared to the uh, mean target price. And in the uh, last tab, we have analyst recommendations. So overwhelmingly, uh, Facebook has a lot of uh, analysts suggesting that it is currently a buy for Facebook. But of course, uh, this is only recommendations. Now, all of these information should be taken with a grain of salt and these are not uh, actual financial advice. Now, if we go back a few screens, and we scroll down to the bottom, we can look at the community tab. Now there's a couple of interesting things in the community tab. So on the top, we have the news tab. So in the news tab, it shows you uh, some of the uh, major news articles from a lot of the uh, big news article sites. Uh, for example, the outlook of gold prices, uh, something to do with Disney, and a lot of the other breaking news. Now, if we look up to the uh, top here, there is the live tab. Now, what's interesting in the live tab is that there is a lot of the uh, earning conference call for a lot of the uh, bigger companies. So, for example, if I was uh, interested in listening to the uh, Uber conference call, I can simply click on that and then it gives you a playback of the uh, Uber uh, second quarter earnings conference call, which has happened uh, recently. See, a lot of this information you can actually get from each individual company's investment site, but it's just so much more convenient where it's all condensed uh, into the same app. Let's now go and look at the uh, third tab at the very bottom, which is the Discover tab. So the Discover tab shows you what are the uh, hot stocks that are people are most interested in uh, investing in at the moment. So if we uh, look at some of the uh, top buys and sells, we can switch it to the US. So these are some of the uh, top buy and sells stocks 
that are, are happening at the moment. So we can go further into that and it lists out things like Robinhood, uh, AMC, AMD, Tesla, and some others. If we keep on scrolling further down, we can also look at uh, what companies are most watched, which means that people have shown a great interest in those particular companies. And the usual name comes up, uh, Robinhood, Alibaba, Apple, Tesla, and many others. And it also shows uh, some of the most discussed uh, companies and the percentage of people buying and selling that particular company. So there is a lot of information there on the uh, what's currently trending in the particular market. If we go up and take a look at the uh, calendar tab, we can look at some of the uh, major IPOs that are going to happen within the near future. We can also take a look at the uh, financials and see the uh, earnings calendar for a lot of the com uh, companies that are coming up. Uh, if we look at the economic data, so most of these economic data are taken from the US. So it'll show you the uh, economic data, including jobless claims, unemployment rate, uh, or the GDP, uh, consumer price index. And if you're interested in all that sort of stuff, you can find that there as well. The last thing that we're going to look at here is the opportunity tab. Now in the opportunity tab, there is a lot of uh, technical indicator based analysis uh, for the uh, companies. Now, this uh, particular section is a lot more technical base, which I won't be uh, getting into uh, too much in this particular video, but be sure to check those out if you are heavily uh, into technical analysis. Overall, the Tiger Broker app is a great free tool that you can use uh, to do the majority of your uh, company analysis, including uh, listening to the uh, earnings report right there on your phone. Be sure to use my uh, referral link in the description below to sign up to the app if you haven't already. And happy doing market research, and I will see you in the next video.